to be honest, no. First of all, the food is very spicy. There's no much diversity. I have to say Thailand, it's still, yeah, a little bit up mm. <laughs> compared to here. I think people get a really bad impression of the Muslim culture from the Western media, and I don't think it's true at all. Between Thailand, Vietnam, and Malaysia that I've done, understanding Malaysian English is a little bit um, difficult at first, but you know. What about the food compared to back home? How, how do you feel about it? <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> well, good day, folks. Today I'm in Kuala Lumpur, and I'm finding out if foreigners want to live in Malaysia asking them, could they see themselves living here in Malaysia? Let's find out. Hey man, how's it going? Good, and you? Good man, where are you from? I'm from Senegal. Senegal? Yeah. Cool, what are you doing in Malaysia right now? Just visiting, uh, discovering, yeah. Is it your first time? No, second time. Second time? Second time, yeah. Do you get the feeling that you would be able to live here, that you would ever want to live in this country? I would. Yeah? Yeah, big time. Oh, nice. Yeah. What are some of the main selling points for you? Cost of living. Uh, it's much cheaper here. I'm Muslim, so I feel comfortable here. Sure. And it's just the atmosphere, you know. People are nice, mm -hmm. you know. You don't bother anybody, nobody bothers you. Yeah. So yeah, mm -hmm. I really like it here. And what about those things you just mentioned? Does it feel like that back home uh, in Senegal or not really? Well, I don't necessarily live in Senegal. Okay. Uh, I'm from there, I spend a lot of time there. Okay. But obviously it's a different country. It's not as developed. Sure. Um, cost of living also there is getting higher. Really? Is yes. it higher than here? Yes, it is. Ooh, it okay. is. You know, we need to get to the point where we consume what we produce mm. and it's not there yet. I think once we get to the point where we're consuming what we're producing, maybe the cost of living is going to be uh, cheaper. Is there any downsides, would you say, to Malaysia for you? Not really. Well, maybe one thing is if I have to, I travel a lot yeah. and a lot of the things that I do business-wise, um, is either in Africa or some of it in the US. So coming here, it's really, really, really long. Uh, That's the only thing. What do you think about the US at the moment? I think the situation there is getting much tougher. Um, I think people are very, very divided. I just came from there actually. It's not the way it used to be. You know, I went to, I went to college there. I went to college in Miami. Mm. And I think things are just not the way they were and the cost of living there has just become very, very high compared to many countries, you know. That's true. I, I came from a small tour of Central America, Panama, Mexico, Costa Rica, mm -hmm. and here, you know. I was in Vietnam, I think, uh, three months ago. Mm -hmm. There really, really are options. <laughs> and for a very, very good quality of life, you know. Mm -hmm. For me, if you have electricity, water, excellent internet, mm -hmm. that's good quality of life. Good accommodation, good food, right? Yeah, and it's not that expensive. Yeah. Really, really not that expensive. I think if you earn money online or in any sort of uh, way that's not local, it's almost nonsensical nowadays to, to stay in the US, stay in the West. It doesn't really make sense. There's not many upsides. The, the political situation is questionable, right? The world has just become so interlocked now. Mm. No country can say, I'm gonna lock the borders and I'm just gonna be on my own. It's impossible, yeah. you know? You're in the US, you're consuming products that are made in Vietnam, in China, in Malaysia. Of course, you know? yeah. You say you're gonna impose tariffs, what? You buy it from the same price in these countries, you add tariff, who's gonna pay for that? <laughs> the people locally, you know? Yeah. And it's just like also bringing, bringing jobs back. It's expensive to have an employee there, sure. you know, compared to here or any other territory. Mm. So I think the intention is there, but I'm not sure that it's going to be possible. And when you travel more, I just started discovering Asia like maybe about a year and a half ago. Yeah. There really are options. Yeah. yeah. Really, really are options. So last question. What is your favorite country so far you've been to in Southeast Asia? In Asia in general, I'd say. So far it's here. It's here? Yeah. Oh, that's great. So far it's here. That's great to hear. It's easier for me because they don't require visas for Senegalese. You know, you can stay here. If it's less than 30 days, you can stay here in and out, yeah. no problem. The others, you still have to request visas. But Malaysia is quite accessible, mm -hmm. at least for us. You know, True. you can come spend two weeks, three weeks here, and then and then uh, go. But um, and you have options also. You know, you have mm -hmm. nice, you have city life, yeah. but you also have island life. Yeah, you, you can go to Langkawi, yeah. and you can still have uh, a great time there. Very so, true. so far it's here. I mean, I still have 
Cambodia to discover, I still have South Korea to discover and others. But so far, between Thailand, Vietnam, and Malaysia that I've done, I feel more comfortable Malaysia. here. Yeah, Malaysia. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hi, how are you? All good. Thank All you. Good. Fine, yeah. thank you. Yeah, where are you from? We are from Tunisia. Tunisia. Yeah, we're actually on our honeymoon here in oh, Kuala Lumpur. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations. Very thank cool. Thank you so much. Uh, thank, yeah. you. thank you. Is it your first time in Malaysia? Yes. Yeah, yeah. it's our first yeah. time in Malaysia. We okay. started with Kuala Lumpur. Good impression so far? Yeah. Very good yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing here. Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay, so I'm asking foreigners today. Do you ever think you could live in Malaysia? Would you want to live in Malaysia? So what's your thoughts so far? <laughs> yeah, we're actually considering, considering it like seriously. Wow. Yeah. We like we, the life here. Yeah, it's really like it. calm, secure, nice. Yeah, we love it. And you can say there's everything. And people are so nice and welcoming. That's good. Yeah. Does it remind you of home or is it completely different? Yeah. Yeah, it's, in a bit, yeah. yeah. Well, it reminds us. We are Muslims, so it's it reminds us of home. Ah. And it's really good. It's the city life. There's the city life here, so it's nice. We like it here. That's nice. Yeah, we basically have like the similar, um, many similar uh, traditions. Mm. So uh, it reminds us really like, uh, it, feels like, it feels like home. That's nice. Yeah. You feel quite welcome here. Yes. Yeah. A lot. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about the food compared to back home? How, how do you feel about it? <laughs> You're laughing. Okay. Well, it's good. It's, it's good. Okay. But yeah. Our food in Tunisia is really good, so we cannot really say. <laughs> okay. But we like it here like still. It. Yeah. 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 We had yeah, we so love many it. food experiences. So yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So far, we are uh, we are living on uh, international food, but mm. our experiments were uh, okay. That's we're good. Right. Yeah. Ah, okay. And what was making you consider maybe moving here? What was the, the biggest thing? Are, are you really looking to leave Tunisia or not exactly? No, not exactly. We actually, uh, we never thought like uh, Malaysia is uh, this welcoming. It's really amazing city life. We love city life. We love the mixture of many inter many nationalities. Yeah. We love the, the vibe of the, it's still having the same tra tradition, but mixed with uh, a more like modern vibe. So. Yeah. Very developed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Tunisia also very developed. Uh, we are working on that actually. <laughs> yeah, We're working on that why. actually, ah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, the quality of life here is better. better. So it's good. If yeah. we find a Muslim country that is way developed, the developed, it's a good thing for us. What about the cost compared to Tunisia? Is it is it similar? similar. Cost of living? Yeah, yeah. It's, similar. it's similar. Yeah, similar. yeah similar. similar to Tunisia. Ah, okay. And what would be stopping you from moving? Is it like work or do you have the opportunity to move if you really wanted to? First no. of all, we love Tunisia yeah, <laughs> so yeah. much and yeah. we love our families. So uh, your family's there, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's far Definitely. away. Yeah. But we like it here still. Also. Yeah. Yeah. There's also the consideration about uh, the job career, yeah. and uh, yeah, my wife uh, is uh, a doctor. Yeah, is a doctor. doctor. Yeah, and a gynecologist. Ah. She's okay. uh, currently like uh, finishing her process. Uh, okay. I cannot really do yeah. that right now. Yeah, <laughs> I should stay there for yeah, now. Sure, sure. Yeah. Maybe in the future, is, is it somewhere yeah. where you would earn more money here, or do you think you will earn more money in Tunisia? Maybe here, Maybe but here. even in Tunisia, I can live well. Yeah. Personally, I don't think about uh, money as uh, as yeah. uh, the main thing, the main but yeah. yeah. It's not yeah. Our really but yeah. yeah, but but uh, but the quality of living we uh, we find it here like it's more livable than uh, than mm. Tunisia. Mm. I feel the same about the U.S. Yeah. I feel here like the quality of life is higher. Sure, you will actually earn less money. I earn yeah. less money, but. Yeah. I'm more happy. Exactly. And so yeah, that's the factor. Yeah, here. that's the yeah, factor. Yeah. We like you Tunisia happiness. so much, but we feel so happy. We feel so mm. relaxed. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's what. Yeah, we that's just nice. came from Indonesia last uh, last night, and uh, mm. when we landed here in uh, in Malaysia, we felt like yeah, it's so it's happy. like yeah, it's home. It's <laughs> we basically came home. Back after <laughs> ten days, and we are so yeah. happy. Like, did you say you landed from Indonesia or Tunisia? From no, Bali. from Indonesia. From Bali. From yeah. Bali. Oh. We actually went from Tunisia to Kuala Lumpur to Bali. So go back to Kuala Lumpur to finish those two days. Mm. Like, uh, yeah, we had to finish those uh, two days here. Can I hear about your thoughts on Bali? What are your honest opinion about yeah, Bali? I amazing. hear mixed opinions. Yeah, it's, amazing. it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a paradise. Of mm. course, every place has positive and negative things. So unfortunately, my phone overheated, but that's how you know it's hot. But that's why that interview just cut off a little bit short. Sorry for that. But let's continue. Hey, man, how are you? Hey, hi, nice. Nice to meet you. You yeah. too, man. You too. Where are you from? From Spain, Spain, Barcelona. Yep. Barcelona, cool. Nice city. I, I've been there a few times. Uh, I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. Yeah. It's fun. And oh, yeah. it's nice. Good weather. Do you think the weather is better in Barcelona or here? What do you think? Uh, I think here it's 
too hot and humid, <laughs> but yeah, it's nice, it's nice. How long is your trip in Malaysia? No, this time it's just two days. Two but days. We, we've been here before like three, four times and we've, we've stayed, we've been all over Malaysia, but uh, now it's a short stopover before we go to Vietnam. We're here for two days. Uh, we like it, we like it, it's yeah. fun, yep. Do you feel like it's a country that you could ever live, that you would ever want to live in? Well, I have considered it before and yeah, I think we would try it out at least, you know, uh, see how it goes. Uh, food is fantastic, people are really nice, the city is beautiful and there's lots of other places you can visit, Langkawi, Penang, uh, so many places to visit here that, and so close by, you have Thailand, you can go to Cambodia, True. short flights, so it's, it's sort of like from in Barcelona, you can go to Paris, London, awesome. Germany. Yeah. So, cheap. Yeah, cheap, nearby, and it's a good hub. So when you were considering it, what were the downsides that maybe made you not go through with it or, or decide maybe it's not going to happen? Work. Work. I couldn't switch around, so ah, <laughs> we stayed in Spain. Okay. But yeah, it was, it was a... We were thinking about it, but this was like 15 years ago, 14 years ago. But then uh, we decided to stay over there. Okay. So if you had a good work opportunity or you worked online or something, it would be uh, in the cards for you. It would yeah. be possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah? definitely, definitely. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Last question. Have you been anywhere else in Southeast Asia? Yeah, basically all over except all Vietnam. Over. That's why we're going to Vietnam. It's our last, last okay. stop. Yeah. What makes Malaysia stand out amongst those countries as being like livable? I don't know. I would say just globally. It's got, as I said, food, people, mm. weather, everything. It's very similar in Singapore, but it's very small, Singapore. More affordable here. Yeah, yeah, and Singapore <laughs> is crazy expensive, so, yeah. It's true. Cool, man. Thank you so much. All right, no, thank you. Hi, how are you? Hi, hello. Good? Good, thank you. Yeah, where are you from? Uh, so, I was born in Colombia, but I grew up in Canada, and I've been living two years in Australia. Okay, Yeah. Nice. <laughs> How's Australia? For me, the best country really? in the world, yeah. Oh, wow, that's cool. So I'm asking foreigners today, could you ever live in Malaysia? Do you see yourself ever living in Malaysia? To be honest, no. Okay. Uh, first of all, the food is very spicy. <laughs> uh, I think there's no much diversity. Mm. It's a beautiful country, but I think because of the religion and I don't know, it's so different yeah. what uh, I'm used to. So, yeah. Okay. Is it your first stop in Asia or the first place you've been to here? No. So my first country was Indonesia. And then I travel a little bit. Uh, I did Japan, Korea, and that's my that's my fourth uh, country in Asia. Yeah. Okay. Which of those do you like the best? Any of those that you could see yourself living in? I will say, if I see myself in Asia, it will be in Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. What does Japan have for you that Malaysia doesn't have, for example? I think the people. Yeah. People and the lifestyle. I don't know. Everything. It's so easy. It's. It's very, it's very technologic uh, country, so mm. it's very easy to get around. Yeah. Yeah. Even with the like lack of English, did you find it hard to communicate, or it was okay? Yeah, that will be my only concern. Mm. But the Japanese are very helpful. They really try to help you, even if they don't speak English. Or... And what's your experience with the people here? I have been four days in here. Okay. Uh, I haven't talked too much to Malaysian people. Mm. So I don't have, I, I can't say anything. Sure. They look very nice people, but yeah, let's see how it goes. <laughs> That's fair, okay. Yeah. And last question, will you go anywhere else outside of the city in Malaysia or are you just staying in Kuala Lumpur? I just came from, I was in Malacca. Malacca. Yes, I spent okay. two days in there and I loved it. Yeah? Beautiful, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Hey man, how you doing? Hello, I'm doing great. And yeah, actually, I'm happy to meet you in Rio because I'm one of your followers. Ah, <laughs> so good. He just came out to me randomly. Perfect opportunity to get an interview without having to approach anybody. <laughs> yeah, I feel me lucky <laughs> today. Very good. So where are you from? I'm from Italy. From Italy. And what are you doing in Malaysia? Uh, I'm just traveling because uh, I really love Kuala Lumpur and I'm based in Thailand now. And Firstly, need to hang out for visa reason. <laughs> you, yeah, yeah. you know about that. Bit, but yeah. but not only for that. I planned this trip like last August already. So uh -huh. because I really wanted to come back to Kuala Lumpur and I'm, I also have a little YouTube channel. So it's a good place to shoot videos and yes. and and learn about a different country because Malaysia. I'll plug your channel in the in the video. Really? Oh, thank you. Let's get him to a thousand subscribers. We got to <laughs> run him up, get him monetized on the channel, right? Yeah, will be will be will be great. Okay, so I'm asking foreigners today, could you ever live in Malaysia? Do you see yourself living here? 
I think so. I mean, when I was here uh, the first time, last May, the first impression was nice. Uh, I, I really liked the vibes of the city and, and I was kind of prepared because I was, I was watching your video already. Yeah, I think uh, I'm, I'm still thinking sometimes that it could be a nice city to live because it's a mix of everything. It can be very affordable. I think so. Yeah, yeah. the answer is yes. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about the food here compared to Thailand? What's, what is more your speed? What do you think? I mean, as Italian, uh, neither. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's different. It's completely okay. different. But I think Thailand have, has more of a real food identity. Okay. Uh, they also do have a food identity here in, in Malaysia. Yeah. In Malaysia, they have. But it's just uh, a little bit more mixed. More mixed. Uh, yeah. but, but you can find really, really good food also here in Kuala Lumpur like yeah. from Indian or also the small Malaysian things that you can find around, it's really good. Mm. But I have to say Thailand, it's still, yeah, a little bit up mm. <laughs> compared to here. Yeah. Do you have the freedom? Can you go anywhere? Can you live anywhere? Uh, are you a digital oh, yeah, nomad? Yeah. yeah, I'm kind of digital nomad, so okay. it's no, not, not a big deal. Mm. Uh, once it's an affordable city, you know, yeah. uh, or affordable country, like, you know, Thailand or many countries in Southeast Asia, it's good, you know, it's just like, actually, I mean, on a mission <laughs> to, yeah. I'm looking for the right place for me, you know, with the, with the good compromise of everything. That's why uh, maybe this city, it's one of the candidates because it have everything, you know. My subscribers know this was my destination because initially a visa run, uh, but then I ended up really liking it and the, the channel did so well. So it's like I'm here for business, but the city is also really nice and I'm not as distracted as I am in Thailand. So yeah, for that reason, it, it is a really nice place. It's comfortable. I definitely recommend it. As much as Thailand is nice, yeah, I think both are great and you have access to both from either one. So. Well, glad to hear you're enjoying it, and thank you so much for the interview. Thanks, thanks to you, yeah. thanks to you guys, and it's great to meet you in person. So he's a great guy, really good, really good <laughs> work you, on bro. the channel. Thank you, brother. <laughs> thanks. Hey, man, how you doing? Um, good, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from UK, Manchester. Manchester. Yeah. Ah, cool. Is it your first time in Malaysia? Uh, no, I, I used to work here, um, so I used to come out to three or four times a year for the last ten years. So it's nice. yeah. What kind of work? IT work, just IT work? Uh, yeah, um, okay. reading systems, that kind of thing. Okay, cool. So today I'm asking foreigners, would you ever live in Malaysia? So would you ever consider making the move and permanently living in the country? Yeah, absolutely. It's, yeah. it's a really cool country. It's got a good vibe. You can compare it with Singapore, where Singapore is a little bit sterile and safe. Mm. Uh, Malaysia, KL is a bit edgy, um, a bit different, but it's it's still quite safe. Mm. You just, um, you know, there's a there's a bit more, maybe a bit more risk and a bit more gain. Yeah. You know, you, if you try things, you live a bit dangerously, you know, it's, <laughs> you can have a good time. So, yeah. yeah, it's good. How's the safety compared to like back in the UK? It, it's a bit more grown up here. They, they let you make choices for yourself. Mm. So you just got to watch where you're walking. Um, you know, there's not going to be a slip hazard sign. But it's, you know, if you're careful, you keep an eye on what's going on around you. It, it's, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Yeah. So what's preventing you, say, at the moment from just getting up and moving? Is it like work or is it family? Um, yeah, not really work. I work from home remotely, so that's okay. I work for an American company, but they don't, they don't mind. That would be a bit inconvenient with the hours. Time zones, they're 13 hours behind. So the reasons, um, family, we have three kids, um, all going through university at the moment. So we're there to support them. But, but after that, I, I guess, you know, we've always got options. So okay. yeah, it would. Okay. I, I would I'd definitely make the move and I, I would recommend it to anybody. It's, it's a nice place to live. I think people get a really bad impression of the Muslim culture from the Western media and I don't think it's true at all. Yeah. I think they're kind of the most easygoing, placid people I've ever met, if yeah. I'm honest. And, you know, you just got to understand the country and get with the vibe. So. Mm. Yeah, I think as an American, like we don't know how we'll be treated coming to a Muslim country. We're, we're yeah told so many random things and see in the media that we have no idea. We think maybe that there will be prejudice against us. When for me, that's not the case. I don't think that it would be the case. No. I, honestly, I just respect other people's countries. Mm -hmm. um, you're in you're in someone else's country. You give them the due respect, and uh, you'll be very surprised. I mean, we we were in a, uh, the MRT a, a little bit lost and trying to get. Uh, work out our train and I just asked a random guy there he was a Chinese refugee 
he couldn't be more helpful. He got on the train with us. He took us to the station we needed to be in. And he got back on the train. Oh, wow. And then as we're exiting the station, um, we had a, another guy just come up to us and said, do you need any help? Are you lost? Yeah. And no, we were just checking the, the schedules. Um, mm. But it's fine. Pe people are friendly. That's great. You know? Yeah. Well, last question. How do you feel about the communication, the level of English here in Malaysia? Do you feel like it's strong or do you have any issues in that regard? It's, it's good. I mean, I, I've, I've traveled in many places around the world and um, if you're patient and you, you just you actually listen and think, um, you, you, it's, it's fine. Yeah. There, there is some frustration sometimes when you go, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> but you just have to speak a little bit slower, a little yeah. bit more clearly, and, and they understand you. Understanding Malaysian English is a little bit um, difficult at first, but you know, your ear tunes into it eventually. Mm. It's, um, there's just some things that aren't quite English. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, instead of saying card, the credit card, they say cut. Yeah. So, paper cut. Yeah. And once you've heard it once, you say, oh, that's what it is. Um, so there's, there's some slight variations, but it's not a barrier at all. Mm. Um, you, you can go, and you can go outside of KL as well. It's not just the that's urban good. metropolis and, and things like that. There's some really cool cities like, uh, sorry, towns, I guess, like Ipo and Taiping um, yeah. up there, where it's not quite as westernized. But there are most people still speak at least uh, some English yeah, yeah. And, and it's taught in schools so um, it's, it's a mandatory subject so you sure. know everybody's had some exposure yeah, yeah. so yeah wow. it's good I, I would move definitely wow. good to hear thank you so much man no problem thank yeah. you press that like button press that subscribe button and drop a comment below please and make sure next you watch my video asking foreigners do you experience culture shock in Malaysia you can watch it right here